Peace, everybody. Um, let me see something right quick. All right, y'all. So here I am back with another one now. This message that I came to talk about today, um, it's a little deep. So hopefully it registers with you however it may. Um, but bear with me because it's multidimensional. <laughs> All right. Okay. So first I want to start out with a story, right? Because it wouldn't be Mona if I didn't give y'all a little background on where I got this from. So I was in the astral room where I had a dream. And that's how the video The Last Supper was created. The mother told me about um setting the table and that we would get that we were getting ready to have guests. And so now it has been revealed to me what and who the guests were or are. Um, so the return, right? This is the grand reunion. It is a grateful time. It's a tough time for a lot of us. We have been in our zones, walking through this darkness. Um, as we as we signed up to do, right? The same new to us is true to us. So I want to um. First, I want to talk about Jacob and Esau, or Inky and Enlil, or Cain and Abel. Um, it's so many emanations of the divine timeline story being told in different civilizations and different cultures. Um, but what I want to say as a mother in this physical realm, I have um, two, I have, I have sons, right? And of course, I just had my daughter. Um, but just to speak in reference to being a mother, as a mother, you don't dislove any of your seeds. It just is what it is. No matter how they turn out, no matter what the outcome is, um, you it's your seed, you know, you love them. Uh, what I want to place the reminder for us to note is that we, whether you believe in the great mother or whether you believe it's the father or whether you believe in both, whatever it is that you believe, what you must know is the all mind is in control of the entire thing. So when we talk about being at war or Inky and Enlil being at war or Cain slew and Abel or even Michael, um, slaying the dragon, whatever storyline you want to use to reference, all was given permission to from the divine source. So when I had that dream about um, set the table, we're getting ready to have guests, it was like what I was hearing was the voice of the divine mother speaking to me. It was a feminine voice, a very powerful voice. Um, my over self, if you want to say. And she was telling me uh, basically that even the monsters, the term monsters means mom stars, right? So even the sons of yours that misbehave or the daughters of yours that misbehave right after you're through correcting them, you go right back to loving them. It's just, it's what it is. And so um, she was telling me in the dream a couple years ago now, uh, happened around the time of the Last Supper video that I had created um, on my channel, my YouTube channel. And she says to me, she says, so you know that um, she was gone for a while, or should we say sleep? And as she awakened, she came back, right? And so she's like, in hindsight, I'm trying to um, like explain the dream in a, in a different way so that everybody can get exactly what I got from it or something different if it may register that way for you. But she was saying like, you know, when your mom goes out of town and she leaves you with a mansion, let's just say we all have moms who have mansions. And she says, here's the keys to the mansion. I'm getting ready to go out of town. Don't have no parties. Don't have no a whole bunch of people in my house whatever, whatever. And, you know, as a rebel, you might or might not obey those things. In your mind, you assume that long as it's cleaned up and exactly how she left it when she get back, everything will be okay. She'll never know. <laughs> so when she left this place here to 
the father or the sons, the patriarchy, uh, to do what they will as she was gone and she allowed them to do this, they decided to change things. Just like you would if you was having a house party, you may not want the couch in the living room. You may want to put the couch in the garage real quick. You know, and of course your intent is just to have fun, but as an extraterrestrial, the way that we have fun is a little bit different because we come from different star systems through different planets. And so the mansion that we might get left with may be a planet. And um, you you come here to experience duality. The lesson that I did on the grids, the multiverse was about exactly that, right? Um, because we are now in a in a place with the fifth dimension where it is a dual nature that we have opened up the vortex to feel or to witness. So the two witnesses has a multidimensional meaning, right? You must witness the left hand and the right hand. And so it's it's kind of about how the scripture says the light and the darkness and the darkness comprehended not because in order for you to know what is right, you have to experience something wrong. It's the dual nature of this realm. Hence the reason we, um, the Keys of Enoch calls the, um, calls our galaxy the Milky Way, but it's referenced as the crystalline mirror. I mean, excuse me, the crystalline river. And when you think of river or crystallized river, she has told me, spirit revealed it to me as your reflection, your dual self, right? We live in a hologram, then that means we are looking for different aspects of ourselves to measure up to the one. So as she proceeds to um, awaken or the daughters proceed to awaken um, and some of even, you know, the men, they are taking their rightful position as she grows in her walk or as the divine eminence grows in both their measures. Six is just, the upside down nine and the nine is just the difference in the six. So really it's the same thing just shown in a different reflection, right? And so as we talk about the crystallized uh, river that the keys of Enoch explains, that's telling you it's nothing that separates us from the spirit realm except for us. It's right here on the other side. If you just look a little deeper, Simba, right? <laughs> so um, here we are at the gathering and the coming together of the two, the twins, right? And though the Bible tells you that Esau and Jacob were of two different nations, it can also mean that they were just of two different natures. One is darkness, one is light, or one is physical and one is spiritual. But you got to remember something, y'all. This my entire channel is dedicated to um space, really, you know, or should I say the um the the unseen, the spirit realm, right? Whatever word you want to use, but when you look at it in terms of what they show you space is, it is darkness. It, it is. So I want to start off with sharing my screen. Let me see. Um, matter of fact, let's see. So, by um, all right. So, your the mother is in command, right? Or your your higher self. I'm referencing the mother because um, it's the spirit, which is the feminine aspect. And right now we know that the divine feminine is on their um, awakening journey as well as the sons who came here to, you know, work with her divine aspect, with the spirit of her as well within them. So this is the metaphysical definition of Jacob, right? Ooh. Okay, so Jacob is the heel catcher 
the leer and wait supplanter, leaving behind and bringing to an end, recompensing and rewarding. Now, it also says here, um, let me jump down real quick. Jacob and Esau represent the mental and the animal consciousness within us. Okay. I did a video talking about the, uh, it's the one about, what is it called? Um, dang, hold on. It's talking, of, when I did that video talking, I had on black and I was talking about the mother and the electromagnetic nose zone, the planet Venus, all of that. When I did that video, I talked about the overthrowing of the lower frequencies because we come here to experience duality. We come to the physical realm to experience something we don't get as spirits. Yes, we do come from the spirit realm. But in the keys of Eden, it tells you that the hierarchy must leave the throne. So when you leave the throne, you come to carry out whatever mission you have here. Um, so here, let me go back to the domestic metaphysical definition. It says, Jacob and Esau, I already read that part. Esau, the hairy man, typifies the animal which comes first into expression. Most of the human family let him rule in consciousness. But in the line of human unfoldment, this man, nature of Esau, must be supplanted by a higher type called Jacob. So when you say that you are the seed of Jacob, all you're identifying as is the spiritual seed or the first seed, because we know spirit precedes matter. Spirit is always going to be here first and then matter. All right. So when we talk about the war with um, the war between Jacob and Esau, or let me also give you another analogy, which I don't know if I've ever even spoken of on my channel myself, um, Inky and Enlil. They call Enlil the sky god and they call Inky the earth god, right? So it's telling you that there's duality even within those brothers or sisters, because a lot of people reference them as one and two. Like, <laughs> just basically put it this way it's an all mine. So everything is everything and nothing at the same time. <laughs> all right. So Jacob also represents the idea of the I am identity through which the faculties of the mind receive their origin, original inspirations. Jacob had 12, had 12 sons to which of whom he gave an office of each whom he blessed or inspired with spiritual wisdom. Now, when we talk about Moses giving them 10 commandments, those were the lesser laws for navigating in the lesser realms, okay? So when you think about it, it's all it's, it's basically saying this is the blueprint for this realm, this is the blueprint for the other realm, and then there will come a time where the Alpha and Omega join together. That's another reference for the two opposites, the reason why society says opposites attract, because in order to have balance or have a reflection, you need something to reflect that off of. Here, real quick, I'm going to read the definition of Esau. So Esau, son of Isaac, twin brother of Jacob, the body or physical figure. In the immature consciousness, the natural man is moved by desire, appetite, passion, are satisfied regardless of the higher law. Esau sold his birthright for a mess of pottage. The threat of Esau against Jacob's life represents the inward rebellion that we often feel we need to change our modes of thoughts. I don't care what y'all say, who told you what or how it was perceived. There is nobody in this realm blameless. Everybody has had to deal with duality. Both is you. Jacob is you and Esau is you. Okay. Now I want to read a header. Hold on. I got a header that I want to read for y'all. And 
some of the Bible headers, they're a little different, but I really liked this header from this Bible right here. And it says, Jacob is, is from Genesis chapter 33. So Genesis also means gene Isis, who has the Isis gene, as I always be saying. So chapter 33, three and three, okay? Jacob, this is the header. Jacob and Esau meet and are reconciled. Esau receives Jacob's presence. Jacob settles in Can Canaan where he builds an altar. Now, multidimensional anytime I'm saying something, but I do find it interesting that Canaan is the land of the lower realms, metaphysically. If you look it up in the metaphysical um, dictionary, that's one of the definitions. And it says uh, where he builds an altar. An altar is just a place of worship or a place to create a frequency higher than the one that you are physically surrounded by. Uh, those of us high priestesses know what altars are used for. All right, now I want to read this too. Keep in mind that everything means something. So this is out of second address. So the two, and it's six and nine, right? Six and nine represent the masculine and the feminine or the two opposites. Okay, so for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So it's telling you about the coming together of the six and the nine, right? We know through the keys of Enoch that each realm, the dimensions are represented by a certain frequency. Hold on, y'all, one second. Here's how many sharing. All right, so I'm just giving y'all some meat to go with this. There's so many scriptures throughout the Bible that I tell you about the Alpha and the Omega. That's also another representation, multidimensional, of Jacob and Esau or Enki and Enlil, Cain and Abel, whatever you know entity you would like to use. It ain't nothing but the balancing of the dual natures, which both are you, yourself versus yourself. All right. I'm going to the keys of Enoch. <laughs> now, I really like this. I really like the keys. Y'all know that already, but I'm in key 118. And it says, God's plan has no end. It is life in the house of the many mansions. Now, this key, I'm going to start with verse 1 through 3. So behold, now the marvelous plants is plan taking place among the children of light a divine plan has been issued to balance earth's and man's violation of the cosmic law of light and love now y'all ever wonder why you get into it with somebody well I, okay let me say this what i've noticed about my experiences here in this room is i tend to get along most with the people who i don't always like right away Sometimes I like people right away and say, oh, she's so cool. We'll do it. so cool. But for some reason, it's the ones who I kind of tussle with in the beginning that I really, really get along with. Like they say, opposites attract. It seems to me that the ones you think you can't identify with are the ones you, I can, you can identify with the most. What I believe the reason is, is because it shadows you. It is a mere reflection of where you are unhealed. So usually the one thing that you dislike about the person says a, a lot about where you need to heal from. All right. So verse two, a divine plan has been, oh, excuse me. We already read that. Verse three, this plan has been issued to negate man's violation of destruction of the, his atmosphere and his radiation fields, especially through his misuse of atomic energy. One second, Sean.
Um, okay, so I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay, so let me finish verse three. One second, yeah. All right. Oops. Okay. All right. So, where we at? Right here on verse 30. All right. So, it says, he has he has also caused destruction to many biological kingdoms on his planetary life station, known as planet Earth. I'm gonna jump down over here to verse seven. There is presently occurring a space-time overlap with the higher evolution as Earth's solar system enters in the electromagnetic low zone a vacuum area in space, which will change the magnetic forces of creation. The change of electromagnetic density. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. One second. Let me get my video. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, girl. Okay, so, okay, a vacuum area in space which will change the magnetic forces of creation. The change of electromagnetic density in Earth's atmosphere, density, right? Earth is a very dense room. So when we talk about the changes of density, that means something is being lifted lighter or taken away, cleared out. Okay, so the change of, uh, let's see, will activate some species to become more violent and other species more Christ-like as men is pulled into either an upward spiral of light or negated by a breakdown of the old electromagnetic frequency. So some of us who are here in this walk that have came to fulfill higher purposes are being tested so that you can break free, the shedding away, right? As we came here on assignment, we are leaving back to the higher planes and realms that we access through the mind. So what you come here and accumulate, you can't take it all with you, right? So the battle between you and your lower self is helping you rid of the things that you can't take with you as we ascend up. All right, so this will bring about a complete reorganization of the earth. Remember, y'all, as above, so below. We are walking earths, right? Or walking universes, multidimensional. So that means that as above, so below. I told y'all in last lesson, what we don't, what we utilize that no longer serves us is falling away. And as that take, takes place, this earth will no longer be the same place. It'll be reorganized. It'll be a new thing, right? Especially once the Alpha and Omega come together or once Inky and Enlil join together. And, 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 and listen, F what you heard. It don't matter what version of my sister you are or my brother you are. If you talking about what we came here to do, we have, they, there are creations all over this earth that have came out of these hierarchies who have met, be, are creator gods, whatever words you want to call them, who have created things that don't necessarily line up with the frequency that is supposed to be. So those are the things that are going to be wiped out as the command is given, right? So anyways, back to this, this lesson here. 
So the earth, the reorganization of earth's life system as the human creation begins to operate with a new magnetic and electromagnetic creative power. Okay. So be mindful y'all because you're, you are creating with every breath of life you take. So make sure you are creating wisely. So presently there is also a galactic war and house cleaning that is being completed through the universe, throughout the universe, which will advance some forms of population one intelligence to population two star regions and recycle those forms of population two. Just like uh, <laughs> my dear brother would say, uh, one third, I mean, excuse me, two thirds of you niggas is getting wiped out, going in the trash can. All right. So intelligence, which have used their knowledge to create aberrations in the heavens. Uh, after uh, verse 11, still in key 118, after the completion of the program historically known as Israel, which means in the original Hebrew scrolls of the con consciousness light, which contends with the higher mind until victory. There must be contention. There will be contention. Because how do you know or will you know how to appreciate something if you have not experienced its, its polar opposite? This is the reason why they talk about the pole switch from the South Pole to the North Pole, okay? All right, let's hear. Ooh, and contends to victory. There will be a consciousness reprogramming of mankind on this planet in the region originally identified with Atlantis. The program Israel is one of the many within the infinite way which intersects with many different levels of intelligence. Many. So please understand that we come from a place where this is not limited. This is why we have done so much emphasizing on the differences between who we really are because we, the spiritualites, when we fully awaken and um, interjoin with our overselves or our light bodies, when we get our light bodies and the macabre comes back, we will understand the real mystery or the alchemical recipe. This is not no basic level stuff. It just ain't. All right. So many levels of intelligence. At the culmination of the Father's plan for Israel, a new program victory will signal the gathering of the tribes of the spiritual Israel. Okay, listen. <laughs> Some of us, uh, let, I'm going to say that. So the 12 consciousness dimensions of spiritual man will receive their central pro reprogramming in the original land of the ancient of the days, which is here. Uh, this is the sacred land of the West, which is the region the original masters used, okay? I'm going to jump down to 17. Before the new story of creation happens, the earth will go through a gross geomagnetic and catastrophic changes. The magnetic region of the North and the South Pole releases their torque, spinning the shell of the earth into a new program of existence. Verse 20, jumping down again. There is now occurring a fulfillment of ancient spiritual and scientific prophecies through the keys of Enoch, the revelation breaking of the seven seals on the book of Revelation, as the explaining of how the brotherhoods of light will work with members of the human race who can accept who can accept the promise of new life and the myriad of other universes. Now, verse 22, we are now witnessing the coming together of scientific evolution, evolution and consciousness as both unite into consciousness of the living light, the energy used by the infinite mind, the infinite creation and the infinite species. The living light will be understood by the code I am that I am. So I'm gonna skip to it. So verse 30, the keys of Enoch are fulfilled through the hierarchy of the paradise sun, who will operate these, who will operate in these nine bodies of consciousness light through the efforts of the office of Christ. God's righteous inherit the kingdoms of light. Death is swallowed up in victory, and Hosanna is heard upon the lips. Selah. Now let me see. 
in here, I believe I read it already, but I'm I'm going to talk about it a little bit. It talks about the sons of darkness and how they are going to contend with this with the sons of light. There ain't no real war for real, y'all. I'm just going to tell you, it ain't. It is, but it ain't. <laughs> the war is just the coming together and the joining of the opposite. Anything that is opposite will, will have a chemical reaction. That's what you see, but that is how you create. If you create with the same substance every time, all you're doing is creating another of the same thing. But in, in where we come from, we are pillars of both kingdoms, the Southern Kingdom and the Northern Northern Kingdom, or the South Pole and the North Pole. And as they switch, the command that is given now, the they tell you all the time about the mother being darkness and light. They also tell you about the father. And as he is Krishna or Shiva, his darkness and light. So all throughout these stories and these regions are we seeing darkness and light. So as the mother is coming back to her house and we getting ready to partake in this last supper, or we already have had the last supper, um, this shit got to be cleaned up, right? She, you know, think of it in a simple way of as a black mama, when I come home, this better be right. Because if I got to clean it up, I'm going, I'm going under shelves. I'm going to get to the root cause of what is taking place. And since there are creator gods who have a right to create in whatever way they feel, their creation is what is going to be destroyed. Anything that your frequency is not matched with, whatever don't align with this new earth that we are here to walk into is what's going to be replaced. The systems, everything is going back to the divine people with the heart chakra open and ready to do what is needed for this place. Come on, man. Um, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I wanted to let you know that this is a joining, a reunion. And I will not argue with nobody about, oh, she's saying Jacob and Esau are coming together. Listen, go find your mama and tell her not to like, her son because of whatever it is that he's a part of and most mamas aren't gonna do it most fathers aren't gonna do it so just understand that all of this stuff is overwritten by a higher law that a lot of people will not be able to comprehend it ain't meant for everybody to comprehend some of us have come here with a different purpose and we are relearning the war that battle it's not an outside battle it's really an internal battle because where is the kingdom of light it's within we know this already right and so you can't utilize your energy in a downward mechanism anymore it's time to raise your vibration it is time to rid yourself of all things that don't stand because real talk you got some hitters on the left who gonna come in and clean up shop the keys of enoch words are real nicely and fancy for you but i'm just letting y'all know that this is this is what it is um when when christ said that he would come back with a sword he did mean that and that sword is speech, but it is also a cleaning. We just read about that in this key. So I wanted to give y'all that. And I wanted to say, hey, to my brothers on the left-hand side, to my sisters on the left-hand side, hey, to my sisters on the right-hand side, I'm so grateful and glad. The mother is glad to have her children back in union again. The father is glad. Um, so peace, love, shalom, light. Let's get this thing started. We know it's coming this year. It ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be flowers and roses for everybody, but it will be a great thing to see if you are in the correct alignment. Peace, y'all.